Hello everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Verna. Today, we're gonna to be making fried dumpling. Some people call it fried dumpling, some people call it bakes, and some people call it Johnny cake. But in my island, we say Johnny cake. Let's get started. Okay, let me show you the ingredients I'll be using. I'll be using flour, which is all purpose flour, a bit of sugar, tip of salt, baking powder, some butter, and water. So let me get started with this. Over here is the all-purpose flour. Some people use self-raising flour, but I'm not doing that. I'm gonna use regular all-purpose flour. So I'm gonna use about eight of these. I'm feeding a good-sized family, so I have to make for everybody. That's two. That's three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Okay, so that's eight cups of flour. Again, as I said, that's all-purpose flour. And this is the baking powder that I'm using. So I'm going to use two tablespoons of baking powder. Okay, that's one. Two. Let me use a little bit more. So let's say two, two and a half. And I have some salt. I'm gonna use a half a tablespoon of this. Just regular salt, give it a bit of taste. And last but not least, I have some butter over here. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of butter. Now, from my experience, one, the butter lightens it and it gives it that crisp look or feeling on the outside and moist on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this in. Just like so, mix it in, all in. Make sure the butter and everything is mixed in. When I was growing up as a little girl, we, my mom or my grandmother used to cook this on Sunday morning for breakfast and with it she'll cook maybe fry fish some scrambled eggs or even lobster it's true lobster back in the days I didn't care about lobster but now it's so expensive I have to buy and pay more money for it and back then I played with it I didn't want it or even salt fish Nice, true salt fish they can actually use with this. So, on the side over here, I have some cold water. I'm going to put this in. I have two cups of water. Let's start with this. And I'm going to stir it in. I'm not going to put all the water in at once. I'm going to stir it in slowly. That's all you put in there, the water, and what I've shown you. If it gets a bit too wet, you can add a little bit more flour. And I might need more than two cups of water, but let's see where this is gonna take me.
Yes, I'm going to need a bit more water. I don't want it too wet. Let's get a little bit more water. All right, I got a little bit more water. Let's add this and see where it takes me. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this spoon down, move the water out of the way, and I'm going to get in there with my hand. Make sure all of this is blended in properly. Again, as I said, if it gets too wet, you can always add a bit more flour. Not too much. You got to make sure it's all blending properly together. Just like so. People actually use milk when they're making Johnny cakes, but when I grew up in the island, we never use milk, we always use water, and it comes out pretty good. But if you want to try using the milk, you can if that's your choice. Take this dough and mix it around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's get the flour from around the bowl. Sticky. Okay, that's good. All right, let's leave this here for a minute while I get the oil in the pan and get it heated. Let's go ahead and heat the pan up. I'm gonna put it on medium high. And while that is getting hot, I will go ahead and do the Johnny cake. So when it's hot, I'm ready to go. Just like so. Not too small and not too big. You can actually do it to the size of your choice. Some people do it smaller, some people do it bigger. They may not always be the same size, but it's okay. Just 
just go ahead and mold the dough together. So once you put it in the pan, they're all frying together. You're looking for a nice brown crisp look. Just like so. Some may be a little bit bigger than some, but it's okay. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and pour some oil in the pan. Okay, and the oil I'm using actually is our vegetable oil. You can choose whatever oil that you want to use. It doesn't have to be the one that I'm using. Right, guys let me go ahead and check this oil and see if it's ready and it's actually ready so I'm going to go ahead and add the Johnny cakes um, leave them on one side for about five to seven minutes until they start browning and then I'll turn them I just have to keep an eye on them because I don't want them to burn just like so Okay, give it time to cook. Meanwhile, I'll go back over to the door and start making up the next batch. Take your time and get it done. You'll be able to tell when it's time to turn them over because it starts having that nice brown look on the bottom and around the edges. Right, I'm going to go ahead and check these things. Oh, wow. And turn them over so they can be browned on both sides and maybe the edges as well. I think I have enough oil in the pot so the edges can be brown at the same time. Just like so. Look at that beautiful color. Okay, give these like another six, seven minutes as well on this side mm -hmm. check this one here and then I'll come back and check to make sure I can 
actually turn them over. Okay, I am back at my Johnny Cakes. Let's check to see what they look like. Okay, I think I can go ahead and take them out in this bowl. I have some paper towel to kind of um, take some of that grease off of them. You don't want too much oil on them, so the paper towel will actually help to absorb the oil. They're looking pretty good, nice and brown. Really, really pretty. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do the next batch. Just like so. Again, I said I'm going to give it six to seven minutes on either side. And while they're cooking, they're rising and browning nicely. like so. I have one more and I'm going to get this in here somehow. Okay. Just leave them there for about seven minutes, six to seven minutes until they're nice and brown on that side. Then I'll go back and check them. Let me turn these Johnny Cakes over. Wow. Okay, that's good. That's the color I'm looking for. And again, if that's not it, I can always switch them back. Okay. That's good. Take this time and cook for at least six to seven minutes, as I said. Let's see this one. Okay. I'll check them back again in a second. Beautiful color, love the color. All right, people, let's check my last batch of Johnny cake. And they are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the stove. Again, I have some paper towel right here to absorb the oil. See, it didn't take that long. You know, let me give you all a joke. I remember when I first came from New York, the children, they had a friend actually from here and I made some Johnny cake and she tasted it and she says, Miss Bernard, where's the sugar? Gave her the sugar. She put the sugar in a plate, picked up the Johnny cake, dipped it in the sugar, and that's how she ate it. So basically, you can eat this any way you want. Stew chicken, curry chicken, maybe sardines. I love sardines, just out of the can on a plate, and that's how I eat mine. Again, as I said, lobster in stew, that's how I ate mine in the islands. Guys, thank you for watching Cooking with Verna. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. God bless you.